Good morning. I'm Cristina Margini. I'm a resident at the Swiss Liver Center in Bern and I would like to bring you today along with me to explore the Liver Center in Bern and to meet some of the professionists and hepatologists that are working there and making this center growing and growing really fast. So we are a common clinic where we have three different specialties. We have hepatology, gastroenterology and visceral surgery working in the same clinic meaning that interdisciplinarity is already embedded in the system. And so our inpatients, which are very complex patients, we are a tertiary center. So they face difficult decisions that we have to take in common with our colleagues from visceral surgery and from gastroenterology. And with this system, where we are all in the same clinic, we can do that very efficiently. We are facing big changes in hepatology. I don't know any other specialty in medicine which changed so much in the last years. We made tremendous progresses. I'm not speaking from transplantation, which are many years ago. I'm speaking for new drugs we can cure patients with chronic viral hepatitis. I'm speaking for new treatment for patients with cancer. So there are really innovative treatments coming. And so we need to train the next generation to be able to carry on and to really also find new treatment for these patients. I'm particularly enthusiastic about the possibility of developing new tools for non-invasive diagnostic methods in liver disease. And I think that Bern and Swiss Liver Center is an outstanding place where we can, can work in a multidisciplinary way with other colleagues from radiology and from other sectors of knowledge such, such as bioengineering, or applied physics in order really to make step forward in this sense. I really think that for training and fellows this is a fantastic place to be since they are exposed to all modern aspects of hepatology and in particular of diagnostic methods in this field. The expertise here in our group is uh, portal hypertension and we do it in the lab and we do it with patients, as you can see here, with uh, the invasive measurement of uh, portal pressure. In the laboratory, we investigate how the presence of intestinal flora affects the development of portal hypertension. And we discovered that the presence of bacterial flora is, uh, reg is regulating uh, the development of uh, vasco vessels in the intestine and also portal pressure. And uh, we do our best to translate our knowledge in the patients. That's the reason why we measure portal hypertension, portal pressure in uh, the patients also. The benefits of working in a group like uh, this one is that uh, it is uh, really interdisciplinary with not only a pathologist, but also gastroenterologists, visceral surgeons, angiologists, uh, radiologists and uh, you can really get in contact with different disciplines and uh, also to learn uh, how hepatology and interventional hepatology works. It is uh, really a good opportunity to get in touch and to work with these specialists. Um, metabolomics is really a study of metabolism and uh, the liver, no other organ in the body has the metabolic range that the liver possesses. So that draws us automatically to hepatology because that's the home of, uh, of metabolism, the liver. So unrivaled um, metabolic activity in the liver. Now, even the gut flora, which makes a huge range of metabolites, these are further metabolized by the liver. So the liver is the center of metabolism. The liver also makes heat and energy and it distributes around the body and metabolic building blocks for the rest of the organism. I'm very confident that, that metabolomics will deliver in the future um, novel drug targets, um, new types of therapy, and also uh, predictive biomarkers for liver diseases. At the moment we are in our new high-end biobanking facility. As you can see behind me, this new biobanking facility offers uh, the possibility to store an almost infinite number of biosamples uh, at standardized conditions. As a research fellow, you will actively participate in several clinical trials. You will screen patients, check inclusion and exclusion criteria, and follow patients throughout trials. 
your own research ideas. You can plan and perform by using data and biosamples from our clinical cohorts. For instance, the hepatitis C cohort. To me, Bern is a perfect place to live and to work as a hepatologist and a clinical pharmacologist. Here in a university surrounding, we work in close collaboration with our colleagues from gastroenterology and visceral surgery and uh, in close contact to all other disciplines if needed. And not to forget, Bern has a good quality of life to maintain a healthy work-life balance. The, the center has an enormous potential to become one of the leading centers because uh, modern hepatology is no longer based on, on, on the knowledge of theoretical things put to, to the service of uh, diagnosing a patient or treating. But now you, you need to have many more skills using specialized, specialized techniques that have been developed in, in recent years and that make uh, hepatologists and modern hepatologists somebody who is able to do more for his patients than to order uh, some tests. So here we are at the end of our day. I really hope you enjoyed the tour here at the Swiss Liver Center and that you got an idea of what the Liver Center is, of what it could do in the future and that you will eventually join us. Or if you cannot, just visit our website, SwissLiver.ch.